Hi, Michelle Seitz here. You're watching Word 2011 for Mac. Header and footer tabs with different page orientations. If you're not experienced with header formatting, try to keep it simple. By that I mean, try to keep all the text in the header left aligned. That way, all the header text in the different page orientations will not have to be corrected if the orientation changes from portrait to landscape and back again. Whereas, if you have headers lined up on the left, middle, and or right margin, you will have to adjust the text every time the page orientation changes. Let's say your paper is in portrait orientation on the first page, and the second page is in landscape orientation. But your tabs in the header are set up for a portrait page only, with a tab in the center and one in the right margin, and you have some text at those tab locations. When you go to the header in the landscape orientation, the text will still be at the tab locations for a portrait page. So the center text in the portrait page is not the same location for a landscape page. To learn how to adjust the tabs for the different page orientations, follow these steps. While in the portrait page, double click in the header or go to the view tab and click on header and footer. The header and footer tab is now available on the ribbon. Click on the header and footer tab. Now make sure you have the ruler displayed. Go to the view tab and click on ruler. With the center tab and right tab entered on the ruler, enter some text in the left margin, center, and right margin as I have. Now if your next section is in landscape orientation and your sections are linked to the previous section, you will need to unlink the sections and adjust the tabs for a landscape orientation. You will need to do this in the header and in the footer every time the page orientation changes if your footer tabs are set up with a center and right tab for a portrait page. To do this, click on next section. While in the landscape page, you can see that the tabs are set up for a portrait page. The center and right tab are not in the correct position for a landscape page. Also, the same as previous tab is displayed. Here's a tip. If the tabs in the header will remain the same for subsequent portrait page sections, before you change the tabs in the landscape page, go to each landscape page and if there is a portrait page before the landscape page, click the link to previous item in both the header and footer so that the header text and tabs will remain the same and are not linked to the landscape pages. You will see why shortly. Now go back to the first landscape page and on the header and footer ribbon, click link to previous. The same as previous tab is no longer displayed and therefore it is not linked to the previous portrait page. Do the same thing in the footer if necessary. Go to the footer and click link to previous. Now click next section and do the same thing in the header and footer. Click the link to previous item. Now go back to the first landscape page and click on previous section. While in the landscape page, you will want to adjust your tabs for a landscape page. Do the same thing in the footer if you have text that you need to adjust. Do this in the subsequent sections as needed. Now I'll tell you why I gave you that tip. Close the header and footer by clicking outside the header and footer or just click close. Now as you scroll up, you can see that the tabs are set for the correct positions for the portrait page on page 1. They are correct for the landscape page on page 2. And since the portrait page on page 3 was no longer linked to the landscape page, before I changed the tabs on the landscape page, the tabs are still in the correct positions for the portrait page. And that is the end of this lesson header and footer tabs with different page orientations.